Hello, this is Colin Breisenbau from colinbreisenbau.com and in this video I'm going to show you what to do after you receive your cPanel login from your hosting company. Um, I've recommended that you use JCW hosting and I've received my username and password. Then you type in your username and password. Um, oh no, sorry, you, you type in your, um, your domain name and if your domain name and um, hosting company has been connected correctly, it should show you this page, index of and CGI bin. That is the only file that is currently on your on your website, on your on the server. Now we're going to add the uh, website um, files on the server. But first of all, to do that, you need to log into your cPanel account. That is basically your back office where you um, um, load your WordPress or your whatever website you're going to use. In this case, we're going to use uh, WordPress. I'm going to show you how to load WordPress on your cPanel account. Um, okay, first of all, you um, type in your domain name and then forward slash cPanel. The, this, this page will open up. Um, then you go and fetch your username and password. Uh, what I've already done to save time is um, I've already copied and pasted the username and password in a spreadsheet. To get organized, you need to um, create an Excel spreadsheet with all your username and passwords in there. Your email username and password, your WordPress username and password, and your cPanel username and password. So I'm just going to grab this um, username here. Copy and paste it in there. Then the password I received from JCW hosting. And log in. Okay. And this is the C panel. Um, the, we're not going to use all the buttons on yet. I'm um, just busy loading. Okay. Yeah, I just said do not show again. No, I'm fine. Thanks. So that closes and will open again when you log in. Here you'll see a lot of buttons here, but the ones that we're going to use is email account, create the email. Uh, later on, I'll show you how to use a file manager. And then we're going to use um, um, software Calicious to load the uh, WordPress on our website. Okay, on this um, cPanel you also see the usage. You can see it for 300 megabytes on this uh, website package and I've only used three, um, just under 800 kilobytes so far. Um, okay, first of all create the email account. I normally use info or admin just for just to make it easy. Then I ask it to generate a password for me. Um, say yes, I've copied and the, the password, so I've already copied it. Use password, create account. Okay, now it says it's not strong enough. Um, let's just see. Okay, they went through account created admin at, at in this case, it's discount auto part store.org. Um, so I'm just going to paste my password in here so that I can remember it and also the email address I created. I'm going fast with this but you can pause and um, do it on, on your side from there. Okay, now we're going to load the uh, WordPress. Okay, we go back to the cPanel. Then we scroll down to Software Galicious. It's a program that's going to create the database for us. It just makes it much quicker and easier to load uh, the website or WordPress for you on your on your server. Software Galicious you can also use for many other programs, as you can see, like Joomla, but we're going to use it for WordPress. You click on install. I always like the WW. Then in what directory? We don't want it in any directory, we want it as is. The, the whole website can be loaded on the domain 
time only, not in a sub directory or any other directory. Then you can just put in your uh, domain name in here. The name of your website, and then just the site description. Okay, just put discount car replacement shop online. Then now I'm going to create the username and password for my when I log into WordPress. Here yeah, you can ask WordPress just to to generate, or you can. It will generate the um, password for you. You can also add stuff in here. It's not strong enough. Just to get it close to 100. Copy. And here's my email address. Uh, I'm just going to paste this, oh, this password in here. And the username will see the uh, two. So there's the username and there's the password. Then I'm also gonna just add your email address where it will email you the, the, the username and password and then click install. Now Software Delicious will load everything, will create a database for you and load WordPress on your server for you. Um, it's about it's over 20 megabytes. So it's finished. Um, then to log in, there is your, you use your username forward slash wp admin or wp login.php. But let's just click on that. Okay. Um, I just want to show you what the website looks like now because it will load your default. Um, WordPress template on there just to check that it's loaded okay so it will be the standard template of WordPress uh, theme uh, 2015 this is a 2015 so this is what the website looks like now but now I want to log into my website there's my username I just need to pick up my password And log in, and then I can say remember it or not remember. And then it will take you straight to the dashboard. There's the website. So that is it. So the next video I'll show you how to configure it. Um, but that is that is it. If you've got any questions, please go to colinbrazen.com or brazenbell at gmail. You can email me any questions and I'll try and help you as best that I can. But for now, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.